The Uttar Pradesh government recently decided to bring the cities of Agra, Ghaziabad and Prayagraj under the police commissionerate system. With this, UP now has seven police commissionerates. The new policing system was introduced in the state only in January 2020, with capital Lucknow and Noida becoming the first two police commissionerates. This was followed by Kanpur and Varansi in March 2021 and Agra, Ghaziabad and Prayagraj in November 2022. It is assumed that the commissionerate system suits large urban metropolitan areas while in the rural areas and smaller towns, the traditional system of policing where the powers are divided between the SSP and the district magistrate works well. Hyderabad is thought to be the first place where the commissionerate system was brought in by the erstwhile Nizams in 1847. Thereafter, the Britishers introduced the same in Kolkata and Chennai in 1856 followed by Mumbai in 1864. After independence, Delhi became the first city to introduce the commissionerate system in 1978. In recent years, the police commissionerate system has gained in popularity in many states. Maharashtra has the highest number of 11 police commissionerates, while Tamil Nadu and Telangana have 9 each. West Bengal has 7 commissionerates, followed by Karnataka and Kerala that have 6 each. Gujarat has 4 commissionerates, while the sister states of Haryana and Punjab have 3 each. Many other states have one or two commissionerates, but some states like Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand have not yet introduced the commissionerate system. Apart from Assam and Nagaland, all northeastern states as well as Goa have only the traditional form of policing. So why are state governments reposing more and more trust in the police commissionerate system? Commissioner system mein jo powers delegate hoti hai, police commissioner ko, वो आम जो पुलिस का सिस्टम पुराना जो ब्रिटिशर्स का दिया हुआ सिस्टम था उससे बेटर है क्योंकि इसमें जो एसडीएम डीएम या जो सिविल ऑफिसर्स हैं उनका इतना इंटरफेरेंस इनकी पावर्स को लेकर नहीं होता जितना कि उनको एक छूट होती है अभी आपने देखा कि दिल्ली में 78 में दिल्ली पुलिस कमिश्नर सिस्टम लागू किया गया उसके बाद ये बहुत ही सक्सेसफुल रहा दिल्ली में बहुत सारे डेमोस्ट्रेशन प्रदर्शन वीवीआईपी मूवमेंट फेस्टिवल्स बहुत तरह की चीजें हैं जिनसे ओवरकम करने के लिए कमिश्नर सिस्टम एक बूंद साबित हुआ कि कमिश्नर सिस्टम में जो बड़ी सिटीज हैं खास तौर से मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटीज है कॉर्पोरेट सिटीज है दिल्ली है और यूपी के बड़े बड़े शहर हैं दूसरे स्टेट्स के बड़े बड़े शहर हैं जहां पर लॉ एंड ऑर्डर अपने आप में एक चैलेंज होता है पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा एक समस्या होती है कि कैसे ओवरकम किया जाए तो उसी डिफिकल्टीज को ओवरकम करने के लिए कमिश्नर सिस्टम एक बहुत कामयाब सिस्टम के रूप में है क्योंकि इसमें जो एक्ट बना हुआ है जो कमिश्नर का एक्ट बना हुआ है उसमें पीनल प्रोविजंस भी हैं और कुछ रिकवरीज के प्रोविजंस भी हैं आप इतने छोटी छोटी चीजों के लिए प्यूनिटिव एक्शन हैं कि आपको एक वर्ड है न्यूसेंस एक इसका इतना मीनिंगफुल मीनिंग है एक्ट है इसका आप किसी भी चीज को न्यूसेंस में काउंट कर सकते हैं एक एक अच्छे शहर के अंदर एक आदमी सड़क पर खड़ा होकर यूरिनेट कर रहा है यू कैन काउंट इड एज न्यूसेंस तो यू कैन बुक हिम अंडर द कमिश्नर एक्ट जबकि दूसरे एक्ट में इस तरह का प्रोविजन नहीं था एक आदमी सड़क पर बहुत हंगामा करता जा रहा है अननेसरी डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन कर रहा है तो आप उसको यू कैन अरेस्ट हिम बुक हिम जो कि इसमें कमिश्नर सिस्टम में इस तरह के प्रोविजंस हैं What differentiates the commissionerate system from the traditional policing structure are both the powers of the officers as well as the seniority and reporting structure. Under the commissionerate system, the police officers get some magisterial powers, so they don't have to seek permission from the district magistrate or SDM or executive magistrate for deployment, for law and order situations, as well as for making arrests. Under the traditional system, while the SP or SSP are responsible for crime control and crime investigation, they need DM's permission for many routine law and order situations. So, the commissionerate system is a unified command structure where the police commissioner is solely responsible for all types of policing. 
This results in quicker reaction time because permissions from magistrates are not required. It is also easier to fix responsibility in case of mismanagement because there is only one line of authority. The police commissioners who head the police force in a commissionerate, which is usually a district or several districts, are generally of the rank of additional DGP or IGP. This means they are more experienced and more senior officers than an SP or SSP. The reporting structure is also significantly different. Police commissioners report directly to the State Director General of Police. On the other hand, an SP or SSP would report to the DIG who in turn reports to the IG who then reports to the DGP or ADGP. However, critics point out that the commissionerate system lacks proper checks and balances. Former IPS officer Amitabh Thakur, who has now launched a political party, says there is greater possibility of misuse of power under the commissionerate system. The district magistrate system or what you have called the traditional system is definitely better than the commissionerate system and my reasons are plain and obvious. The fundamental reason is that the previous system had what is called the balancing the powers. There was a district magistrate, there was a police. We all know police is a, has a, is a body which has extraordinary authorities particularly because it has arms and ammunition and has power to arrest. It is almost like the way the defense forces in India have a counterbalance in the secretariat and whatever is decided by the executive is executed by the defense forces. Commissionerate system definitely advantages, no doubt. I mean, one of those is that the police commissioner many a times can take decisions quickly. But at the same time, it is counterbalanced by the way the decisions are being taken or could be taken. My understanding is that even previously, in the, in, in, in the traditional system, the superintendent of police did not have any kind of blockage or stoppage from doing his police act. The only impositions were in the matters which were generally concerned with law and order. Or in matters like, let us say, Gangster Act, Gunda Act, uh, or um, imposing 107, 116, uh, 144 CRPC, etc. Power is more than that. It is not possible to rule out the misuse of power. It is not possible to rule out the misuse of power. Like the preventive actions, there are many allegations that police, like 107, 111, which are the preventive sections, they misuse power. But normally, because things are refined, initially, in some stages, there are some difficulties. There are some responsibilities for police. So, slowly, slowly, things are rectified. रेक्टिफाई हो जाती है The law and order situation in a state, especially in metropolitan cities, has become an important benchmark for the image of the state government as well as the concerned chief minister. Voters generally prefer a chief minister with no nonsense image who can tackle crime effectively. It is perhaps also due to this that state governments are placing more trust in the commissionerate system where the police officers enjoy greater powers but can't make excuses when things go wrong. A Times Online Report